Hey everyone, welcome back to another Madden 17 League episode here. We have the Bengals taking on the Bears. Pretty exciting matchup here. I mean, both teams, I mean, actually not both teams. Bengals are 1-0, Bears are 0-1. So let's see what Justin Fields can do. He is finally going to be recorded now. Of course, I didn't record the... Rams and Bears game for like a dang fourth time. It's freaking annoying, man. I kept on like messing up. I was like, ah, oh, whatever. I give up. <laughs> Said it was a good rush by Forsett here, seven yards in, and we're gonna introduce the L line. Yeah, there's Robinson right there. They have Jeffrey there too. Bears and Bengals are a 79 overall team. Both of them are, so let's see what they're going to both do. NFC North is up for grabs. No wins there so far. And the defensive line. Now it's third and inches. And just feels gonna step back to pass. Gives it to Jimmy Graham, and Jimmy Graham is off in a big hit right there to the 45 yard line. Nice hit right there. Of course, the Bears are off with a great start with Justin Fields. Justin Fields making some progress. And gonna get him right there, second and nine. Play action. Justin Fields gonna take a step back to pass it. Caught, and that'll stay in bounds to the 20 yard line now. A big pass. I'll challenge it. Yeah, then it's gonna cost us a timeout. And eh, whatever. The challenge system is broken, anyways. Gonna hand it off now. And he is on the run for a first and goal. Accidentally bolted with that other defense player. And Robinson gets in for the touchdown. And the Bears take an early lead on 6-0, 4.45 remaining. And then it will be up to Joe Burrow's offense. And here comes the kickoff. It will be received by Jones. Let's see what Jones can do here. And Jones going to get tackled right there. And here comes Joe Burrow, the number one prospect in the 2020 NFL Draft from LSU. Now they're going to pick a uh, way to go. LaShawn McCoy has been on, is on the team now. And I believe it was uh, Giovanni Bernard that is on the Bucks now. There's been a lot of switching here. And going to get rampaged right there. The Bears defense acting like they're back in the 80s or 90s.
But the Bears defense just rammed in on him. Got a motion. Doug Baldwin right there. Now Joe Burrow's going to have to run for it. Joe Burrow going to get the first down. Joe Burrow running for it more. Joe Burrow gets in for first and 10 at the 36-yard line. A 20-yard rush. A big run by the number one prospect in last year's draft. He tore his ACL, I believe, last season. Yikes. But now he is back and seems better than ever. Possibly playoff guaranteed, of course. AFC North, maybe. I mean, in, I mean, in Madden 17 League, not in real life, not. Bengals still need a lot of rebuilding. And oh no, is he already injured? It seems like it. Oh come on. And Joe Burrow will already walk off the field. Where's Edelman? There he is. Now A.J. McCarron will step up to pass, and he'll go down the middle. Right to Lewis. Lewis gets in for the first down and more to the 42-yard line. As Joe Burrow will be checked out, probably be in or out for the rest of this game or later this game. Is it gonna throw it all the way to LaFell and LaFell is in for the first down? So far, some good passes. First and ten. Gonna have a man in motion there. And gonna throw it and incomplete. Try to go right there and didn't come unnoticed. Khalil Mack is the player to watch right there as he is part of the linebacker squad. And Joe Burrow has a abdominal strain. Adrian McCarron will still take over. Of course, uh, Julian Edelman retired in real life, but of course here, I put him in as for the Cincinnati Bengals help out. Same thing with Doug Baldwin. You know, they have a set of weapons here. Not a great O-line though, and gonna throw it to Lewis once again, and Lewis gonna get in for a first down and first and goal. And just like that, the Bengals have drove down the field as well. AJ McCarron getting ready. Gonna pitch the ball off. Gonna throw it to Lewis and Lewis drops it. And Khalil Mack Right there was the defender. Of course, they're going to be sending out more players right here. Burrow being taken into the locker room for extra evaluation, it seems. Play action right here. And going to run it in, it seems. And A.J. McCurry gets in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Of course, the Bengals seem to try to go on a road to the playoffs here. I mean, he has a great set of weapons. Like I said, Doug Baldwin, Brendan LaFell, Julian Edelman. They got the tight end Lewis right there. Of course, they have LaShawn McCoy. LaShawn McCoy's been on a set of teams. In real life, he's been on, like, what, the Eagles, the Buccaneers, the Bills. Big hit right there, but in this Madden League, of course, he's been also on the Cincinnati Bengals. This will probably be his uh, 
final step, maybe. Depends. In real life, I think he's a free agent waiting to be signed by a team. Man in motion right there, and going to hand it off again. And he's going to get stopped second and eight. Of course, with the Bears team, they love to use their running backs for an advantage. As for the Bengals, they have gotten nowhere with LaShawn McCoy. It just seems like he hasn't gotten anywhere by the Bears defense. I mean, they only give him like a couple plays or one play. And it is tipped down. Justin Fields' first incomplete pass. And it was tipped down by Maluaga. I think that. Or Maluaga. I don't know. Let me see. Maluaga. And sacked he goes, Timber, and he is down. Of course, I don't know if comments are still turned off in my videos. I'll probably turn them back on right now if they are. I'll also try to ask you two for some help. And also, guys, my videos take an extremely long time to upload because I don't have a proper Wi-Fi. So, I'm recording this at like 4 and 5 in the morning. So, it'll be out by like Pacific time, probably like 7 or 8 p.m. Or if better, probably like 4 to 6. It depends. 4 to 8 p.m. Pacific time, my videos will probably be uploaded because they take a long damn time. Anyways, LaShawn McCoy does not get another chance. It gets held back another yard. Bears defense is great for holding them back so far. As here we go on to the second quarter. AJ McCarron still in the game. If you look at their offensive breakdown, uh, they stood even with their plays. And going to throw it to McCoy. Now McCoy gets it for third and one. And now they're going to try to punch this one in for the first down. Goes up with McCoy. McCoy still running. Gets in for a big game. To the 32-yard line. Throw it off to McCoy. McCoy going to swerve his way in for another first down right there. AJ McCarron with 77 yards so far. And of course, AJ. Being, doing his job right here. Going to throw it to McCoy once again. And McCoy steps up for first and goal at the three yard line. Meanwhile, Bears have struggled on their second drive of the game. Bengals have been making business as usual, and only two more yards to go. They punched it in. Of course, like I said, the O-line is not all shine and diamonds, so you're going to see a lot of sacks throughout the season. I mean, you're going to see a lot of Joe Burrow running, AJ McCarron running, if so, if he gets called in. Rashawn McCoy not getting that much yards, and there we go! Touchdown, Bengals! the extra point they get it 17 up the Bengals now take the lead and there's LaShawn McCoy with five carries eight yards longest was seven right there for that first down earlier and Kevin Zaro will kick this off and it'll be out of bounds
And I'm going to get it caught and going to get it backed up by a yard. Justin Fields trying to throw it to Forsett. And his first reception will end up in a negative yard. As um, uh, Mao Lauga, <laughs> I don't even know anymore, but he got the big hit on. And Justin Fields now running around and gives it to Jimmy Graham, who gets it in for third and one. And it looks like a run right here, possibly. Play action right there, actually. And going to give it to Robinson, who Robinson bolts down the field. And caught at the 11 yard line. And that's a big game. And gonna make it incomplete. was thrown towards the ground, it seemed. As, of course, the Bears make a one-play miracle right here on third down. And a hit right there, third and nine. With 10 yards to go to get the touchdown, can the Bears make it, or will they set down for three? And gonna run it in, and Fields is sacked by upcoming traffic. There he goes, Dawson on the highway of sacks. A big hit right there, too, and they will set down for three. Or settle down, excuse me. And almost blocked off right there. That guy was running in from the right. But they will kick it in for a field goal with two minutes and 22 seconds remaining. Lucky of three twos left of the game first half Bengals will receive it in the second half and Jones goes up to get a 26 yard line of course here at Soldier Field where the Bears have always been if I'm correct and Burrow is back in the game. Let's see what he can do. Gives it to McCoy for a gain of none. That's his first complete pass, though. And they're going to run it down to the two minute warning. pick uh screw it this one <laughs> I didn't know which play to pick alright and LaShawn McCoy gonna run it in and McCoy stiffs arms the man and gets in for the first down at the 40 yard line now they're gonna try to quickly run down the field here quickly hurry up hurry up they say play action Caught by Lewis for a second and one. Joe Burrow still gonna hurry it up here. Gives it, and it's tipped, and it was intended for Julian Edelman. Or Doug Baldwin. Third and one right here.
Can they push it in right here? And Joe Burrow will take a sack, it seems. And LaShawn McCoy is going to get in for the first down to Moore, and he's still going. Now they're going to quickly try to make an audible here. Joe Burrow looking for a receiver, and it's tipped down. Probably going to make it to the 35-yard line to get into field goal range here. With the wind going five miles per hour in their favor. And going to get it in third and eight only. And the defense chance begin once again here. Third down conversions, just 50%. And McCoy all alone here. McCoy going to run down the field, and McCoy gets tackled. Put him on a hot route right there. Going to throw it to Lewis. Lewis caught. And with just 16 seconds left to spare, can the Bengals turn this field goal drive into a touchdown drive here? Well, intended for a touchdown. Pitches the ball off. Going to give it to McCoy here. And... They're going to time it out, and they're going to go for a field goal. Twenty-six yards. The wind is in their favor right here. Should be an easy piece of kick as Kevin Zaro kicks it in. Good. With a seven-point lead heading into halftime here we're gonna check what is up there we go second half underway and Jones with a huge gain to the 30 yard line Of course, you look at there, Cincinnati about to peak at 200 yards. The rushing, both sides have been pretty meh. And LaShawn McCoy gets the big reception here and going to get it for first down at the 47-yard line. And now it's 210 yards. 165 passing yards. Pitches the ball off right here. Going to throw it all the way down to Lewis. And Lewis is going to run it. And no, gets swarmed up. And 9 out of 11 uh, completions and attempts for Joe Burrow there. <coughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> moving along from that. Gonna throw it to Edelman, and Edelman is gonna run it to a first down. 
Of course, guys, if you saw week one, Julian Edelman broke his jaw. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't even laugh at that. Just like, jeez. But of course, I'm not playing the season mode. I'm doing, like, head-to-head. -head, no, not head-to-head -head online, but, like, you know what I mean. Those one-on-one -on -one matchups you can do offline. And McCoy still on his feet. Gonna go in for the touchdown. And that'll make it a 13-point lead. And gonna kick it in. Good. As the Bengals have 218 passing yards, they're going to turn it over to Justin Fields now. What can they do in this situation as Mariani is going to return this one? And they will get him down at the 23-yard line. Justin Fields getting ready. First and ten. And Fields gets hit and all alone right here. And he's going to get tackled for a first down. Of course, we've seen some crazy games here. We've seen the Bills versus the Dolphins. The Jets versus the Patriots. Which I am mostly thinking that Jets and the Patriots game, the Jets sold out, but they did their best. Of course, there's been some new signings on the Jets. Diego DeSanta, a new kicker, has been set to be on the Jets. Played quarterback in college, so he'll be a great quarterback, it seems. Well, if they do need him as an emergency. Of course, Zach Wilson dealing with those interceptions. And a first down right there. And for Mac Jones and the Patriots, seem to be off. I mean, yeah, they did get the wind, but that's not all it seems. Possibly some holes needed to be fixed. There was a fumble and interception in that game. And gonna get him right down to the 29 yard line. And Justin Fields goes uh, only two incompletions. And Fields going to hand it off once more. And a big hit right there. Third and six. Third down conversions here. Two out of four, 50% chance. And they're going to try to run it. And no, they get denied and Rodgers only gets negative two yards and the Bears will accept the second field goal of the day possibly. And that will only go in good. 24 to 13 and 11 point lead here. As Cooks got it in, good. And Jones now is up for the return.
first and ten. Going to search for a receiver to throw it to, and it is batted down. Joe Burrow tried to do the deep ball, but Khalil Mack was right there. Second and ten right here. Going to throw it to Edelman, and Edelman's in danger here as he gets it. Third and two, actually. And now it is only two yards to go for the first down. So where they truly need their defense to go into action. Try to get the ball back right here. And he's going to make a quick dot over to Lewis. Lewis all alone here. Lewis going to try to push him off and gets in for the 47-yard line. 95 yards for Lewis. A busy day as usual. Mercedes Lewis is golden today. And gonna pass it to LaFell here. LaFell gets it. And Joe Burrow's 169 yards. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And we haven't seen that much of Baldwin lately. And Doug Baldwin will get the football here and will step out of bounds with only 18 seconds left on the clock. And now I'm going to throw it deep downfield to LaFell and he gets it first and goal. 16 out of 19 passes complete. And now arises the fourth quarter. Cincinnati impossible guaranteed touchdown range right here. And we'll try to throw it. And it'll be incomplete. Threw it too short and was getting rushed right there. Didn't want to get pushed harshly on. Joe Burrow, 202 yards, a completion to 80%. An amazing game. Trying to search for his second touchdown of the day. Throws it easily to Hewitt. And in for the touchdown. Cincinnati goes. Touchdown, Cincinnati Bengals. 30-13 to 13 here, and that'll stay as 31-13. Of course, A.J. McCarron and Joe Burrow have worked together this game, it seems. And they use LaShawn McCoy as a running game. Total yards are there, 340. As you look at the rushing yards and the passing yards, Bengals are way ahead. About to reach 300. And getting rushed right there, and Graham will get to the 30-yard line. And Justin Fields sacked down. Geno Atkins, third and ten for them now. Bears on third down conversions, two out of five. Not making business lately. And they will stay down for another one as Rodgers 
tried to go in, and now it's fourth and 12. Now it's negative four yards for him now. Of course, LaShawn McCoy had that same problem earlier, but managed to fix it. Doesn't seem Rodgers anytime soon will be fixing that. Now they're going to punt it down the field with O'Donnell. The flag is on the field. It might be... Let's see what it's on. And they'll be holding on the Bengals. Josh Shaw. Gonna get it to McCoy, and McCoy will go second and six. With another run in, McCoy will bolt his way through for third and two. Another four yard gain. Now time for third and two here. Ward with Nine tackles for today. Offensive breakdown, way more passing plays than rushing plays, as they've only needed McCoy for those dire plays. Here is McCoy makes a big run right there. Nice game. And Prosinski gets his first tackle of the game. And McCoy gonna try to run right here. McCoy gets, oh, who got injured this play? Is it second and three now? Looks like it's the Bears side and Persinski now injured. As you look at his carries right here, McCoy, of course, more of an emergency running back here. And he's gonna slide in for that precious First down, or no, that's Hill this time. As he will go in for the first down. With three minutes left of the game, the time will probably end when they reach the end zone here. Is now going to give it to Hill again, or no, McCoy this time, and now he gets held back four yards. As it's Khalil Mack on the rush. And Burrow going to throw it to McCoy here. McCoy gets it for third and eight. And now the two-minute warning kicks in. 31 to 13. Burrow will probably go for it on fourth down as McCoy has 100 yards and passings today. Play action here. Going to throw it to LaFell, and LaFell gets in for the first down and more. As you look at the QB matchup here, all of today, Joe Burrow with only a tiny bit on a completion percentage. Nick Foles right there next to him, talking to him. Of course, Andy Dalton is also on the Bears here. And McCoy cannot get another gain as they push him back again. Yeah, they're prepared for it now, but like I said, there's not enough time to equal up these points and for the Bears to win it. Burrow gonna run it in with McCoy. Third and 10 now. On third down conversions, let's see if McCoy can do anything here, and he gets a gain for fourth and six, and that'll be final. 31 to 13.
a big game here. We're going to go look at the scoring summary. Yeah. Pretty great game here. Just the Bears couldn't keep up. They stopped scoring in the fourth quarter. It seems they just gave up on all that hope right there. Look at the player stats right here. Of course, you have A.J. McCarron with a great QB rating. Of course, Justin Fields has the most. Look at the completions. 10 out of 12, 6 to 8, 19 out of 23. Yards, Joe Burrow having the most. Of course, A.J. McCarron stepping in when he had to. He did his job. They reached 300 yards in total. The completion rates just 1% down. And Joe Burrow was 2 for 0. Fields was 1 for 0. AJ McCarron ran in for his touchdown. Of course, the average yards, Joe Burrow making shorter passes, it seems, and the longest. Of course, Fields had that one. Pretty busy day for both quarterbacks, but the Bengals managed to get on top. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.